We thought we were in the wilderness. I can only imagine it's some sort of freak weather event, like a shaft of cold that's... That, I mean, it could have hit any of us, but it's, it's hit you. Like, well, if you get hit by one of those blasts of ice around these parts, it's a lot... You did this. Because well, I put your keys in ice, you put my entire cup... How did you do that? Slowly and whilst grinning. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, though, isn't it? Look. It's undrivable, is what it is. For now, it's an incredible effect. But by June, you are going to help me get the ice off that car. I am. And also, I'm not. <laughs> what do you think Jeremy will do to solve the little conundrum I may have given him? How long will it be, do you think, before he says, right, I'll set fire to it? Um, half a minute. Yes! Good. Morning. This is going to take forever. I've overdone it. Well, you could just talk about it a lot, cos all that hot air would eventually melt the ice on the car, wouldn't it? <laughs> Traditional Sammy fun. <laughs> Hammond and I headed further east through the empty landscape. With me still a bit dumbstruck about how the Evo had come back from the dead. Think what happened to the front of this car. The front wishbone was bent back on itself. But here we are, temperature absolutely stable, steering rock steady. I'd, I wouldn't have believed it. If we were in an old black and white British newsreel, it would be described as a plucky chap. But it's more than a plucky chap. I mean, it's just incredible. Eventually, we arrived in the town itself. That must be it. That must be the actual mine. One good thing, as this is a town, and it's a sort of practical town, we can stock up on all the stuff we might need to continue our journey through the wilderness. Meanwhile, back at Ice Station Zebra, I was finally making progress. Fire, no use at all. Hammer, only thing that works. Ooh! Movement! See, my mother would look at that hole there in the window and go, yes, that's clear, we can go to school now, Jeremy. Yes, we are away. Over in Kirina, we had found the most manly shop in the world. Oh, right, this... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no! That says mining town. What do you mind, iron ore? That's I'm going to put my car back together. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Have we shrunk, or is everybody bigger than us here? I don't know. Yeah? yeah. I haven't got my glasses. It's an axe. Yeah. Oh, hang on, these are like strops. This is if we get stuck, which we could, because we're going to be in the wilderness. These Easy. are strops and winches and things. Ratchet strap. And we are prepared. With our survival shopping done, we went for a well-earned bite to eat. 
funny. I don't generally go for pizzas, but sometimes... Oh, hello. You made it. Did you like some pizza? Yes. Did you get the ice off? Yeah, mostly. I bet it was fun. That was a proper challenge. What did you do? Flamethrower. We guessed Chisel. Fire. I hope you enjoy your pizza.